My name's Scooter Grubb, and I'm a freelance photojournalist in the motorcycle industry. Friday through Sunday. Monday through Friday, I'm a stockbroker. I shoot magazine features. I shoot uh, drag races for the in the Harley Arena. But my best event of the year, the most favorite thing that I do, is come out here to the Bonneville Salt Flats and shoot the Bub Motorcycle Land Speed Trials. Well, the Bonneville Motorcycle Land Speed Trials, to me, is like the last bastion of the motorcycle purist. These guys build most of these bikes in their garage like they did 40, 50 years ago when the old choppers began to come out after World War II. And there are no chrome bolt-ons, there's no bobbles and trinkets on these bikes. If it doesn't make you go fast, it has no place on the, on the salt flats. This year there are eight or nine countries represented here and the, the amazing thing is these are people that come back year after year. This is a relatively small fraternity and the friendships and the closeness of these people is, is just simply extraordinary. Um, one guy from Japan wrecked his bike and another guy blew up his engine and the guy from Japan, Hiro Koiso, who actually lives in Vegas, gave the guy a brand new engine out of his mangled bike so that he could make passes during this week. People just don't give away brand new engines. It, it just doesn't happen. And that's the kind of people you find at Bonneville. Again, thank you so much. And let's all make this a, a good, safe, record-making... Well, Dennis Manning, Dennis Manning's an institution on assault. This year he celebrates his 40th anniversary uh, along with John Yates and Warner, who are all going to be at the banquet tonight. There's just extraordinary amounts of history associated with those guys. Uh, the first Harley Land Speed record, literally 40 years ago. And Dennis is a member of the AMA Hall of Fame. And what he has given back to the industry, not just what he's earned in the industry, but what he's given back, is truly extraordinary. This is Thursday morning. This is the last day of the four and a half day event. And in years past, we would be anticipating the shootout that we knew was going to occur between streamliners that run in excess of 350 miles an hour for not only the top speed of the meet, but for the absolute motorcycle land speed record, which is th over 367 miles an hour. But this year, it's coming down to a shootout between really unconventional motorcycles. Two of the new technology that we see more and more about here every year are the electric bikes. We have two that yesterday evening with 15 minutes to go in the day before they shut it down, uh, the first bike set a new land speed record at over 165 miles an hour. And then about four minutes later, the second electric bike came out and upped the record by two miles an hour. So there's a dog fight in the pits where you can see them technically going over these machines with a fine tooth comb, trying to squeeze out another half a mile an hour, another two miles an hour to see who walks away with that crown this year. Most important things that happens here is the engineering of two segregated tracks, four different starting positions, and that's run by Rex Voboda and Tom Berkland. Rex engineers and, and orchestrates what he refers to as the motorcycle ballet out here all day. Without the skill and talent that they exhibit in doing that, we couldn't have 360, 65 runs a day out here. And then the staff behind them, the people that run the mile markers, that clear the track, that report back to the tower, uh, that are all volunteer. All these people are volunteer. All the way back to uh, the staff that you know sell the t-shirts. Everybody's out here not because they're getting paid, but because they just have, you know, they just love land speed racing. And you have to give credit to Delveen Manning, who I've always referred to as kind of the, the engine and transmission of this event. Uh, Dennis puts it together. Delveen's the driving force behind it, making sure that everything, every, every little detail is covered. And Linnea Johnston, who uh, backs up Delveen. Uh, it, it's just, they've put together an amazing team to the point where AMA this year has declared this one of their six grand national events, which is a huge tribute to Dennis Manning and Delveen Manning and the staff that shows up here every year.
Ago, said Bonneville is where you need to be. So I packed it up and I headed west just to see what there was to see. By the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever. Scream and scream, liners down to motor scooters and every motorcycle in between. Five full days of two weeks. Land speed racing, well that's what there was to be seen. By the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit, I got the salt flats fever. Alcohol, race gas, and a turbocharger help some motorcycles down the line. After a week of watching all these bikes, I'm here to say the Bubs event is fine, fine, fine. Well I don't know if I can wait a year. Come next September, I hope to be back here Watching all the bikes and meeting all the folks Hanging down at the bar and hearing some lousy jokes By the speed bug I got bit, now I just can't quit I got the salt flats fever They're on course, they're past the three They're getting faster, just look and see Tucked down low and riding with a smile Screaming on through that famous measured mile Well by the speed bug I got bit Now I just can't quit I got the salt flats fever right here at 